So this is a very long question, I would say. One big question, 4A with acid, okay, acid, and then 4B, or acid and base, and then a C is the calculation, and then a D is the preparation of salt. Okay, so we go back to the top. We revise the calculation. So if your teacher gives such a long question, uh, don't be scared. Uh, just break it down, okay? So then ethanol acid. So this is the acid and base chapter. Ethanol acid, uh, CH3, COOH, okay? is a weak acid. And then the hydrochloric acid. It was the formula for hydrochloric acid. HCl, okay? Mm, very good. Then it's a strong acid, okay? So define the term acid. Uh, so acid and base, eh, very easy. Okay, uh, so acid, eh, acid is proton donor okay easy as that okay proton donor so if you're wondering what is a proton donor proton donor is h plus okay uh, what is h plus h plus is actually just a proton that's why it's called a proton donor okay so then uh, same uh, if they ask what is a base eh? base is a proton acceptor okay easy as that okay so ig is easy as that uh. don't need to write all those high tech stuff when they say what is the acid just write proton donor Okay, uh, that's why you need to discuss some of the questions so they know all oh, these are the things that yeah, I need to remember and these are things that how I handle the question. Okay, uh, very good. So then, uh, then number two, they said, okay, the chemical equation shows um, okay, this is a strong acid. Oh, and added water. Okay, complete the chemical equation to show weak acid uh, when added to water. So the dissociation of this, uh, they're trying to test whether you know how to write the ionization or dissociation of acid. Nah. So if HCl, you write this, okay? Uh, if they ask you to write the states, then they have to write, nah, okay? If not, then you don't need. Okay, uh, then here, here, here will be, uh, if the weak acid, uh, you remember we wrote a few times, if they break apart, eh, then uh, they want to test whether you know how it breaks apart. So if it's CH3, CO minus, plus the H plus, at least. Okay, uh, like this. So, so two marks. Uh. One mark for the content, one mark for the one mark for the stuff inside, and one mark for the balance equation. So apparently it's balanced. Uh. Okay, if you did not did not ask the state symbol, you don't need to write. Okay. Uh, but if you write it wrong, then they ignore uh, your examiner, but your school teacher removes. If you write it wrong and they did not mention, so they just ignore. Okay, but your school teacher most probably they are minus so much. Okay. But in this case, eh, it should be aqueous also because eh, these are all acid. Man. So the acid, you add water, uh, then it will ionize. It will just remain as a, a liquid. Like this. Okay, remember, ionization equation. Okay. Mm. So the same, eh, so if they ask for, if they give something else, let's say they want to change to something else, if HCOOH, eh, so it become HCOOH, it becomes I. Eh, HCOO minus plus H plus. Like that. Okay. Eh? Mm. So if it's this, eh, if they change the HCL to H2SO4, H2SO4, uh, H2L4, we call it slightly stronger. Why? Because it got two H2. Uh, so if they are asked the ionization or what happens when you add in the water or the chemical equation when you add in the water, it will be still H plus plus SO4 2 minus, but there's two here. Okay, uh, HNO3, same thing. If HNO3 is say, oh, this acid throw in the water, what happens? I uh, produce H plus and then NO3 minus. Okay, it asks which one that uh, which one that gives out the acidic properties. Which one? Uh, which one? So there will be all the H plus. Mm, okay, done. Okay, let's use a pink color. Pink. Okay, then next. continue. Uh. Uh, state two observation, which which would show hydrochloric acid as stronger acid than ethanol acid. Okay, so they say student does an experiment to show hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, and ethanol acid is a weak acid. The student adds hydrochloric acid and this excess into calcium carbonate. Okay, CaCO three. So this is marble chips. Two observations will show that hydrochloric acid is stronger. Okay. Uh, if hydrochloric acid is stronger, what happens there? So you say the, the calcium carbonate will dissolve faster. 
okay, in hydrochloric acid. That is that. Then like calcium carbonate, what kind of gas produce? Hello, acid and carbonate. What kind of gas is produced? Carbon dioxide. Okay. So then you say the, you can say the uh, higher number of gas bubbles in next year. Okay, blue, blue, blue faster. Okay. Uh, then next, uh, two marks. Uh, so the next student uses same size container, checks that the pressure is the same, must be kept constant. Uh. This is more like paper six, I would say. I uh, don't know why I put it here. Okay, in paper four. Okay, so what other things eh, okay, that you need to keep constant? Mm, of course, eh, if it's acid, let's talk about the concentration. Eh. So both, eh, both the hydrochloric acid, both HCl, we do the experiment, both HCl is eh, one mole per dm cube, and the CH3COH have the same concentration. Okay, so you see, eh, uh, both, uh, right, both acid have the same concentration okay mm. what are things there eh? oh they did mention same size and pressure so another thing that must be kept constant temperature okay temperature of the of reactants okay uh, temperature of reactants and then what else so the factor that affects rate of reaction here might be useful okay so the factor that affects rate of reaction is always temperature, uh, concentration, and then catalyst, pressure, and then the total surface area. Okay. Mm, I would say another one will be, mm, if you stick to this, then you say the type of, type of uh, calcium carbonate used. Okay, type of carbon. So make sure that both is lumps of calcium carbonate. Okay, uh, I would say both you use lumps of calcium carbonate. Cannot be one lump and then one is powder. Uh, then it will affect the, it will be not a fair testing. Okay, so this relates a bit to rate of reaction. So for, you know, I'm sure your teacher said that rate of reaction is carbon. So rate of reaction, the factors, eh, uh, revise a bit. Uh, if you can, I write the side. Okay, if not, Later you revise it. Uh, these are the, the factors. But then pressure only affects gas. Okay. Uh, so get that's why we put pressure the last one. It's always this one temperature, concentration, catalyst, total surface area, and then pressure that affects the rate of reaction. Yeah. So there's a lot of marks here also. What eight marks? Computer. Okay, then another will tell me again. <laughs> okay, anyway, so this is like one, two, gas, three. Okay, sure. Okay, then I four. Okay, so then now let's go straight to the question. Then they say, okay, uh, so they say calculate the number of moles, eh, which means the N of HCl. Okay, so they even write this thing for you. So this is V and then M. So whenever you say, oh, okay, this is the mole per dm cube. So the only formula that you can relate to is which one? One, two, three, or four. So we use the third formula. Okay, because only the third formula can relate with the n equals to mv over 1000. Only the third formula, we can relate the, <clears throat> the m, okay? The mole per dm cube with the number of moles, okay? So the whole point is to find number of moles, okay? So just substitute, very easy. Just follow the same step. Even if you don't write the formula, you just uh, fill in this, you still get it correct. But I recommend you to fill it everything. Okay, write step by step. Then use your calculator, it becomes uh, 0 0.0.1 0 .0 mole, like that. Okay. Or well, fourth formula is for number of particles. This one, this additional. Huh? Yeah. Whenever they ask for number of particles, how many of it, how many atoms, how many molecules, or how many ions, eh? uh, then use the fourth formula. Okay, uh, I will say again, I seldom, you seldom see it, but then nowadays they add it in, so your school teacher might want to add it in to make your the test paper slightly more difficult. Okay, so 0 0.1, uh, then uh, if you know this HCl is 0 0.1, then go back to here, oh, 
oh, 0 0.1, okay, mole. So the whole point is to find the mole and then you jump to another one, okay? And then determine the number of moles of MgCO3. When you see number of moles is the N, okay? Uh, so then they say blah, 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 this is not important. Huh? So then, hey, so look at the ratio two, ratio one. So if this is 0 0.1, then half of it will be 0 0.05 mole, okay? 0 0.05 mole. Then hey, that's all, that's all. A1 mark, once again. Huh? So the whole point of the equation is to jump. So they give you one of these, solve already. Oh, okay, zero, this two, one. So you found here 0 0.1. So then you jump over 0 0.05. So they say, oh, okay, so I got it 0 0.05 more. Done. Yeah. And then, uh, okay, so they even write, wrote the bowl for you. Okay. And uh, then you're here already. You're here at the magnesium carbonate. And uh, then they say, calculate the relative formula mass. What? They even give you marks for this. So relative formula mass is just the mass, the molar mass, MR. MR is molar mass. Okay. So what they'll do is just refer product table. So uh, so it'd be good you remember some. Eh? A star student right, to remember some. If not, the product table is so jumbled, eh? 100 over, okay, of this. Uh, but then you use the top part. But then if you look at all the numbers, it's so annoying. So if, you're, if you, you have, they always use all these popular ones. So magnesium, just remember 24. Carbon, just remember 12. Oxygen, remember 16. Uh, that will be faster and clearer. You know, you're in the it's means of figure out the question. Then after that, you go and refer to the periodic table. Oh my God. So messy. Periodic table is so many things. Okay, so it'd be good to remember the popular ones. If they ask you all those weird ones, then a bit difficult, like with BDM and all. And then you can you don't need to memorize. Okay, but all these like magnesium and those, yes, please. So the more, the more you can remember, the better. And it won't distract you from all this calculation. Okay. So then uh, count count, it become very good, 84. Okay, uh, then, then uh, once you are done, then they say calculate the calculate the mass. Okay, calculate the mass of MgCO3. Mm, so needed and blah, 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 this is not important. Uh, okay, so we are here already. So want to find the mass, or oh, like I say, eh, one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. If mass, eh, which formula do we use? Eh? So then uh, N equals to mass over molar mass. So since we want to find the, the mass, uh, okay? So by right, it just times it over. So mass equals to N times the molar mass. So it becomes a 0 0.05, you see, here. A 0 0.05, and then times the molar mass, 84, okay? Like this. So then, just time though, then it becomes 4.2, very good, uh, 4.2, okay? So then at 4.2, they will give you the grams. I right, start, okay? So now this is how it works. So standard, like four marks, okay? So if your school wants to make it difficult, eh, they say, okay, after this step, then they say, oh, okay, uh, calculate the uh, number of, let's say that, okay, they want to test, they this seldom used formula. Let's say they say, uh, number of uh, magnesium carbonate, okay, uh, reacted, okay, number of, okay, or number of particles, number of magnesium carbonate uh, particles. Okay, they don't mention specifically ions, atoms, they just say particles. Okay, reactor. So what do you do? Like? They say, oh, particles. Uh. So you stick to this. Whenever they said particles, stick to this. Okay, so then uh, what do you do? You say, oh, N equals to N over NA. Okay, so this is practically fixed science. Even 6.02 times 10, but oh, no problem. Okay, so then uh, you just calculate. Oh, Ooh, okay, so N equals to N times the NA. So this small n is forever our best friend for magnesium carbonate. Magnesium carbonate, the small n is, uh, the small n is 0 0.05. Uh. So just take 0 0.05 then times the avocado constant. Uh, so any, any molecules, uh, any particles, uh, the Na, the number of, this is constant. So then you just take 0 0.05 times 6.02 exponential to entry. Okay, for those who are not good at cal uh, not familiar there, wait, hello. All your calculator at the bottom, eh? don't don't times the a lot of you times 6.02 times 10 power of 23. Right, a lot of you type like this. Okay, now you see this. I uh, let me stop the mirror. Make sure you learn this before you go to university. 
Okay, cool. Now this one. Ooh. Oh, not last week. The new one. So you can find the Google Drive. I just shared. So this is like how you type a lot of times. Okay. So don't need that. Uh, this this requires a lot of work. Okay. So when you type all this exponential stuff, I use the exp button at the bottom. You know, all your calculator, you have this exp button, one, two, three, two, and exp. Exp is the time stand power three. So pro people, eh, right, huh? if you have a lot, eh? pro people is that it is 6.02. Then you straight away, okay, straight away you times the, use this exponential button. Exponential, then straight away type 23. Okay, so it's a lot faster. So if you have like a standard form, you put like standard form times standard form, eh? use this way. Okay, it's a lot faster. So you make it a habit. If you use always a timestamp of 23, then what? Say for too slow, especially bracket. Now, this is very useful because they, they immediately uh, consider this as one big number. So if you're going to type the power, uh, you don't need to bracket. You just straight away power something. Let's say, where's our power of? Hey, where's the power? The power sign. Power. Ah. So they straight away power this whole thing. Okay, let's say you say power of five. Uh, so in your math, if you're doing math or M math, then, uh, this EXP is good. So I'm trying to let you know, this use the EXP button here. It's actually time stamp up, okay? Mm, so it's faster. And then, uh, then next. So if they ask you, uh, then they continue and say, oh, okay, so what a uh, number of ions in the MgCO3, okay? that reacted okay like that so what is the number of ions inside so then then you say oh, okay uh mgco3 consists of two ions magnesium and carbonate okay two ions inside magnesium and carbonate so this is the the total is triplet of uh, mgco3 if they say how many ions total so you just take the number here 3.01 and then you just times two Okay, times two because eh, there's two ions inside. So the total number of ions is this, so this six point oh two times ten power twenty three. Okay, has to be with the number we get zero point zero five times six point oh two. I'll try to explain that with twenty two. This will be twenty two. They do, they do, they do. Okay. And then, uh, so this is the use of the number of uh, number of articles. Can I? This is